Um, hey guys, so I have huge news. My first book, Cassandra Kalejoy, Paranormal Private Eye, The Search for the Swordsman, and no, I couldn't come up with a longer title, but I tried, is about to be published on January 25th by Pegasus Publications. And you can pre-order your copy right now, both on the Pegasus website and on Amazon.co.uk. Both links are in the description box right now. If you are pre-ordering the book from the U.S., use the Amazon link as that one has a feature where they will deliver to the United States. Um, so here's the million dollar question. What is the book about? Well, first things first, I intend this to be a book series. And what the book series is about, very simple, here's my 10 words or less, it's about a witch who's a detective. So it's Angela Lansbury's two greatest roles combined. Now, what is the first book about? What is the search for the swordsman about? Well, Killjoy takes a missing, missing persons case in which a teenage girl named Madeline Chan uh, cannot find her father. And Killjoy is convinced that there are paranormal elements at play with her father's disappearance and that his vanishing is somehow connected to the city's protector, their constable, their sheriff, the swordsman. So Killjoy and Madeline must face many dangers as they uncover the mystery of her father's disappearance as they search for the swordsman. There you go. So before I close this video out, I just want to make sure and express my gratitude towards all of you. Getting this book published was a six year journey from the decision that of taking this story that I was very confident about and turning it into a book all the way until now. And none of it would have happened if it wasn't for you guys, if it wasn't for the love and support that all of you have given me for the past 14 years. 14 years you guys have supported me and been kind to me and encouraged me to move forward in my pursuits. In my life, I've only had two real goals, two things that I've always, always wanted. The first one is simply to make movies with my friends. And the second one is to make something that I am proud of. I've had the great fortune of working on a lot of projects throughout the years, but I've never made anything that I was happy to put my name on. I've had a lot of, a lot of great experiences along the way. I've worked with a lot of extraordinary, brilliant, creative people, and I wouldn't trade those experiences for anything. But there's never been a finished product out of any of those projects that I was legitimately happy with. With Killjoy, it's the first time that I've ever made anything, created anything, that I feel like I didn't just stumble upon something good, I stumbled upon something special. And now, in a few days, I get to share that with everyone. And again, it never would have happened without you, without your support, without an audience, without a following, without a fan base, without folks to entertain and tell stories to.
Now, I don't know what's going to happen on the after the 25th. It could be the beginning of a new wonderful journey, or it, I could hit another brick wall. It could be one of many brick walls I've hit in my life. It could go either way. But win, lose, or draw, on the 25th, I will be a published author. And that's not nothing. And I have all of you to thank for that. So from the bottom of my heart, thank you. Now, if you guys have any questions about the book or anything to do with this new endeavor, um, please feel free to send me your questions via Twitter. My handle is at erodbuster1, and I'll be happy to answer any of your questions about the book, the publication, or anything that will happen after that. If I don't have the answer, I will pass your questions along to Pegasus and they will most definitely have the answers. All right, guys. So again, thank you. And I say it every time because it is 100% true. I couldn't do what I do without you.